Your beloved's afflictions all, Lord, do Thou think upon How unto God He swore and vowed To Jacob's mighty one I will not come within my house, nor rest in bed at all, nor shall mine eyes take any sleep, nor eyelids slumber shall, till for Yahweh a place I find where he may make a boat, a place of habitation for Jacob's mighty God. Lo, in this place of fruitfulness, of it we understood. Nor did we find it in the fields and city of the wood. We'll come into this tent with praise and at his footstool bow. Arise, Yahweh, into thy rest. Thy ark of strength is Thou. O let Thy priests be clothed, Lord, with truth and righteousness. And let all those that are Thy saints shout loud for joyfulness. For thine own Son, Yeshua's sake, do not deny thy grace, nor of thine own anointed one, turn thou away thy face. The Lord in truth to David swore he will turn from it. I of thy body's fruit will make upon thy throne to sit. My covenant if thy sons will keep and laws to them made known. Their children then shall also sit forever on thy throne. For God of Zion hath made choice, there he desires to dwell. This is my rest, here still I'll stay, for I do like it well. Her food I'll greatly bless her poor, with bread will satisfy. Her priests I'll clothe with health, her saints shall shout forth joyfully. And there will I make David's horn to bud forth pleasantly. For him that mine anointed is, a lamp ordained have I. As with a garment I will clothe, with shame his enemies all. But yet the crown that he does wear, upon him flourish shall. And there 
will make Yeshua seed to bud forth pleasantly. My son, that mine anointed is.